Guys, we finally found all the missing pieces to make mathematically correct the highest DPS setup in Diablo 4. This attack power is without any buffs or potions, so it means that Lilith will have more issues than your ex-girlfriend. Some Keep in mind that this build still has some room for improvement, so with all the buffs you can reach around 24-25k attack power and maybe more. The limit is definitely is the sky in this setup. Also, this build feels really comfortable to run tier 60, 70 ish nightmare dungeons. After that, it's hit and run playstyle, so I would not recommend to use this build over 70, over tier 70. So 60 till 70, fine, over that, mm -mm, mm -mm. Also, I want to make this setup or this build showcase really short, sweet, simple, straight to the point. I will leave full build with Paragon board, my skill tree, down below in description or in first pinned comment section. Most important or critical parts here is that you're gonna sacrifice everything. On every piece almost, you will try to find intelligence and essence on your rings you will look for crit chance crit damage vulnerable damage and again essence on your necklace slash amulet you will look for essence cost reduction movement speed and evolution passive power and maybe bone skill damage or another passive power like compound fracture for example on your boots movement speed and uh, corpse tendrils power Paragon board is pretty goddamn self-explanatory. Although I took this build from uh, Nick Two and Rob, but I optimize it till the point where there's pretty much nothing else you can do in terms of your DPS output or how to increase your DPS output even further. I don't know. I think I have done pretty much everything to optimize uh, Rob's and Nick Two's Nick's board board or build. So yeah shout out to these boys but i took their build and pushed it to the limit so now you can deal some nasty nasty damage uh, as you saw lilith has no problem for me if you need help guys i can carry you hit me up on xbox i have no freaking friends simply leave comment down below in comment section why you love diablo 4 i will pick three lucky winners and i will basically carry you through the Lilith easy money and uh, maybe uh, next day as well we're gonna see so definitely leave comment down below in comment section and I will pick three winners for the first run and maybe extra three winners for second run it depends how bored I will be so nevertheless Lilith is pretty goddamn easy if you know all the mechanics in terms of my paragon board it's pretty much like butterfly style but the key point here that uh, you will ignore all the armor or defensive stats first glyph will be for a sacrificial tons of damage afterwards we will go for critical strike damage with our bone skills it's really important and we're gonna take a legendary node bone graft uh, really nice at early stages of the game Maybe at level 50 or 60 you will switch Paragon board a little bit differently, but at the end game it will look pretty much the same. Sample of that and Imbiber, Imber, I don't know how to pronounce this correctly. <laughs> Imbiber, Imber, Imber? Is it Imber? Anyway, you get the point. Gravekeeper is really nice. And damage to elites is absolutely must have. Also, guys, really important note Lilith or a lot of phases of Lilith boss fight will be counted as um, fights against enemy who is injured. So we have to definitely spec out some Pergon points into damage to injured uh, enemies. Enemies that are injured. You get the point. And that will allow us to basically take Lilith super, super quickly. And the last point is essence and guys make sure that you're opening this last uh, board last. Otherwise those uh, requirements will be nasty. Yeah, butcher drops the mic, stay safe, love you all, bye!